It's a sight you can only see from one place, a view of the Sunyuk region of southwest Armenia from 1,000 feet up. We're on board the world's longest and highest aerial tramway. It was built five years ago to connect the villages of the Sunyuk region. It was built, of course, to serve the people of those communities, but it also serves as a wonderful tourist attraction. At the end of the line, the village of Tatev in a beautiful 9th century monastery. It once housed a university in the 14th and 15th centuries, but as the wall surrounding it implies, it was built as a fortress. This is an area that has been invaded many, many times, uh, both from the Persian Empire and from the roaming bands uh, from different places, and uh, this was the place where people found shelter. Villagers say this ancient landmark and new tramway have improved their lives. For the village, it's been very important because the population has been able to find jobs. The young people have jobs now. They work for the tramway or in the restaurant, so it's been very good for them. We cross now from Armenia into neighboring Nagorno-Karabakh. Once an Armenian province called Artsakh, it was land disputed in a war between Armenians and Azerbaijan from 1991 to 94. It's now independent, and this monument at the border celebrates that victory. A road funded by donations to the nonprofit Armenian Fund provides easy travel into this beautiful mountainous region. A road that leads to this giant symbol of the land and the people called Tatik and Papik, Grandma and Grandpa. It actually it has a big meaning because uh, the, this is the grandma and the grandpa uh, of, of uh, our country, of all this area. And our uh, traditions, our problems that we had many, many years ago. The cannot see it, everything. I think it is everything that. So you see this and you feel proud? Yes, surely. In the Martuni province, the Amaras Monastery dates back to the 5th century. It's home to the first ever wedding hall. Do you see the couple in the fireplace? And the first classroom used to teach the Armenian alphabet, created by Mesrop Mashtots. You can still see some of the letters carved into the stone ceiling.